Hey there, Gabriel Burfado from GB Voice Academy, home of the patent pending sound map target that is helping people from all over the world master the American accent. I have taught CEOs, managers from many big corporations like Google, Facebook, Amazon, people like you, how to master the American accent. And on this video, I'm gonna focus on particular words that a lot of my East Indian clients get wrong. And it's not necessarily just the pronunciation of the word, but the rhythm within the word. Because what you have to understand is, on top of sounding more American, which you can do in these videos that I have here, it's also the rhythm within the word. So let's go through some specific ones here that are used commonly in the professional realm. There'll be a lot of words here that I'm sure you say in a daily basis that we're off on, so let's master it together. And stick around, because we're gonna be going through each and every one of them, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna have a bonus tip on what you can do on a daily basis to master the rhythm of the American words. Independent. Independence, development, development. Now you hear this all the time. I see a lot of East Indian CEOs, upper management talking on YouTube. They're up there, they sound brilliant, they have so many wonderful things to say, and all of a sudden a word will come out that could really be misinterpreted only because the rhythm within that word is off. For example, independent, independent. Yes, our corporation is very independent. That's an example of a word that is off in terms of the rhythm. Independence. Independence. Versus independence. Inda. Independence. That's one of many. Let's continue on and work through this list. Vehicle. Vehicle. Let's get into my vehicle and drive. Vehicle. You want to put the emphasis on the E. Vehicle. Let's get on the vehicle and drive. Now let's put these two words that we worked on together. Let me do it the wrong way and then we'll do it the right way. I have an independent vehicle versus I have an independent vehicle. If we put the emphasis on the right rhythm, then the word won't be off. Here's another big one that I hear a lot, especially from my East Indian clients who work in the tech world. Development, development. Do you hear that? Development versus development. Big difference, right? You could be up there. We have an exciting new product in development versus we have a wonderful new product in development. Development versus development. Development, development. You hear the difference? Here's another one. Corporations. Corporations. Versus corporations. Putting the emphasis on the third syllable. Corporations. It's finding the syllable within the word that needs to be emphasized. Corporation versus corporation. See the difference? This is our new corporation versus this is our new corporation. Here's another one that I hear a lot. Comprehending. Comprehending versus comprehending. Comprehending. We all have problems comprehending the issue versus we all have problems comprehending, comprehending the issue. Comprehending. 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 Here's another short word that's often missed. Already. Already. We've already looked at that. We've already versus already. We've already looked at that. Already versus already. See the difference? Now you're probably asking yourself, well, how in God's name am I gonna know what the right one is? It's a guessing game. Stick around to the end of this video because I have the answer to that and how you could implement it on a daily basis to get those rhythms right. Another big one is understand. Understand. I understand the word versus I understand the word. Understand. It's very clear, isn't it? You gotta ask yourself this. You've seen enough American television shows to have created a database of the right rhythm in your head. When you do hit the right rhythm, understand, all of a sudden something clicks in your mind and goes, oh yeah, that's what I remember hearing that actor say on that TV show. I didn't hear him say understand. I heard him say, understand. The more you actively listen to American television shows, TV shows, movies, 
the more you'll be able to create that database that's gonna be able to give you that warning alarm. Deet, 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 deet. Uh, understand doesn't feel right. Understand feels right. That's what my gut says. You want your gut to start guiding you because I can't be there all the time. Actually, I could be because I'm just a YouTube clip away. Here's another big one that I hear a lot. Execute, execute versus execute. We must execute the process. We must execute the process. Again, very clear as to where that emphasis is. Here's another one for you. Success, success. We had success. We had success versus success, success. We've had great success with the process versus we have great success with the process. See what I mean? Very clear. Another word, idea, idea, idea. I have a good idea versus I have a good idea. Idea, idea. Here's a big one that I hear a lot as well. Articulate versus articulate. Articulate. There's a lot to articulate. There's lots to articulate. And here's one I hear a lot in a lot of tech sort of events. Satisfaction. Satisfaction. We must achieve satisfaction versus satisfaction. We must achieve satisfaction. So now these words are very clear as to where that emphasis is. Now, here comes the big question. How are we supposed to know what that is? It's a guessing game. I'm not in America, I can't tell. I'm not practicing enough. Well, like I said earlier, please make an effort to watch a lot of American television shows or movies so you could really hear where that emphasis is. Because remember, it's like musical. It's very, it's a musicality issue. What's your favorite song ever? I bet you if you close your eyes, you know the lyrics to the, your favorite song so easily because it's just, it's ingrained in your head. It's something you like so much. Well, the same thing here, it's learning the musicality of these words. Now, here's what I want you to do on a daily basis in order to really build that American rhythm along with the pronunciation exercises to really help you not only sound American, but have the rhythm of an American, which is ultimately what's gonna carry these American sounds forward convincingly. You could just Google random word generator. And with this, you put in random words and they have them in syllables, two syllable words, three syllable words, put them in there and do about 10 a day. And it's gonna randomly generate these words for you. And if you don't know where the right emphasis is, put it in a Google translator and it's gonna tell you exactly how it sounds. And you'll be able to hear where that emphasis is and then say it over and say it over and put it in a sentence. For example, like the words we've learned today, we've already developed an independent idea versus we've already developed an independent idea. Let's create another sentence based on the words we worked on today. We must successfully articulate our corporation's idea. You hear that? You could really hear that rhythm versus we must successfully articulate our corporation's idea. So work on that every day, along with the pronunciation exercises, because it's not just in the East Indian language, it's also in every rhythm. Every accent has their own rhythm. And, and that's one of the biggest dead giveaways when you're listening to somebody who's really mastered the American accent, but there's something off that you can't quite get. And that's usually the last resort, which is, the rhythm. Now to help you along, I put a link down in the description to my five-star best-selling accent reduction course with reviews from all over the world, as well as my course on how to have a powerful and confident voice. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be creating this content on an ongoing basis to help you master the American accent. Mm -hmm.